morning it's tanya from tatty treasure um i just really wanted to do a recent video because um yeah i'm so much in the future with the woodland uh wonder series that um i just feel like i'm not hardly saying anything on those videos because everything's in the past or in the future I don't know I'm even confusing myself <laughs> where I am so when you see this video which um, is now today um, you will have seen the first weekend of the well you'll have seen the introduction uh, the first weekend and you'll have seen Tuesday's edition which was making the postcards with the faux stamps uh, that we did and what else was on that oh the stamped images where I did a little bit of collage and did the tags and then tomorrow will be the second episode of the uh, making with embellishments and that was the tea bags and all oh, the the square things um so that's where we're at with that i have actually filmed oh gosh i think 14 episodes so we get <clears throat> three weeks of the weekends of making the embellishments and three weeks of using the embellishments on um different pieces to make um, pieces of ephemera and then I've done a couple of episodes on uh, decoupaging and doing some printing on some book pages and doing some <clears throat> like collage masterboards so that will take us to right at the beginning of October I think it takes us to this like second week of October so I'm going to stop filming them for a little while uh, while I get on with my fall projects. Um, otherwise fall will have come, gone, been and I'll have missed it. <laughs> and obviously I've got a couple of um, kits that, that I want to use. Especially um, this one and the one from Shabby Dabby Doodah because the colours are more orange and reds and stuff which remind me more of you know autumn than than winter so i have been making these two envelope journals folios um and i've used the new kit from nanine um which is her full folio kit um so she's kindly gifted me this um, and I wanted to just show you what I was doing with it. I've not done as much in this one so I'll just give you a flip through that. Now I don't know if you can see I've actually used these um, orange envelopes and the envelopes are nine by six and a quarter. So they're a really nice size, very much similar size to file folders. Um, so, and the kit, all the pages are um, portrait size. So it's ideal for doing envelope things and file folder things. So I've loosely uh, followed Dawn at the Book Vandals envelope journal. I will link that. Um, but I kind of went wrong on one of the steps, but it, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Obviously, it's not wrong. It's just different um, to to hers. So um, I think hers had a closure on here. I've just done it so the the ribbon uh, goes round, and I've done it in like a green and a and an orange. Uh, so that's the front cover. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a book plate on it or not yet. Um, not really thought that far uh, ahead. So it opens up and you've got a big pocket here. 
um, I've done this file folder flip down and it's got magnets in it so it does stay shut which then holds this piece down so this piece flips up and this is half of one of these envelopes and it's cut at the side so there'll be something going in there then when I've done my uh, thing what I seem to do on all of them now but I absolutely love it so obviously you can write on the back of there and on there and all I've used is um, like sticky photo corners and <clears throat> I just got those from eBay I just search, search craft um, sticky photo corners I have left this open at the back because um, I watch Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo a lot and every time she makes something she always seems to keep the back open and she always says keep it open because you don't know if you're going to want it or not if you've closed it you can't use it so that's what I'm going to start start doing on a lot of the pockets because um, it's very true so I've just put a little bit of lace down there <clears throat> put like a book plate on there and some burlapy flowers and then it'll fold out like so um, I'm thinking the journal's going to go in there but this is kind of the bit where I've gone different to to dawn so that's where that envelope folds over there so that's that one and I'm doing this one more um, lighter than the other one and this is going to be more floral than the other but um, you know they'll both have elements of, of each in them and then this one so this one's a bit darker and it's more uh, got birds in it so I've put here uh, a double pocket so that one goes all the way down that one and then there's a corner pocket there then you've got this pocket here uh, again the same thing I'll just put a book plate on there and there's the, the little bit here love this uh, page it, it is my favorite it's so rich um, the colors are beautiful and then I've put something there and that then covers over uh, the top of the envelope so I feel like there was something else what yes so the whole reason really of this is one I wanted to show you the kit but some of the things that we will be making in the Woodland Wonders I have remade for um, doing these two two projects so you'll see these later in in the episodes they may not be exactly the same but they'll be you know loosely based on what we did so this was just um a long dl envelope which i folded the bottom up to create this pocket here and then I've put this corner pocket in. That was an actual pocket from the kit and it did have like a back in it. Uh, so I just cut the back off. I've kept the flap on um, and I used that there for a little corner. And then there'll be a tag that needs to go in there. So I've made that and then I made one of these little... Uh, notebooks in the series so i think this was like a journal card and then this was an element and i cut one of these out one of the journal cards and then i've just put a word because you do get a sheet of words uh, there will be some scrap uh papers sewn in there and then there's just a little tag journal card there so I should probably tie that round with uh, some string. What else have I, have I made? Oh, I've made um, a little, like, scrappy uh, belly band. We made something very similar to this in the episodes. Now, this is a piece out of 
the kits. Um, so I've gone round with the blade. I've fussy cut this out of one of the tags and stuck that on. And then I've got another one of the journal cards and stuck it on the back. I've put acetate in the window and I'm going to make uh, acetate tag. So I've got the acetate ready. Um, I don't know where my book is actually. So we've got um, an Acer in the garden and it's just starting to turn red. So I've pressed some of the leaves. They're not ready yet. So I'm going to put one of those in, sew round it and then have some, some lace in, in there. So I really do like that piece so that's that and I've printed on a couple of sheets of vellum so these need sewing up so I'm gonna make some vellum envelopes one of my favorite things to do and then a little vellum notebook so what I thought we could do is just put these pieces in a uh, what I've made so I've made this belly band for here I know it shortens the pocket but I like how it looks it disguises this where the pocket doesn't actually meet uh, the end so very good for you know putting over little imperfections and things like that and i just think it finishes it off really nice i am going to make a little cluster thing to go there so let's get the art glitter glue out and i'm just gonna glue down half of it so you've still got that that room underneath um to just give you a little bit more width and i'm gonna just line it up right at the top of the pocket and right on the edge so that's that bit there so i just think that that finishes that off lovely so used one of the tiny little elements inside I think I did that too to a page so it, I'd get them smaller uh, just put a bit of scrap paper underneath a couple of bits there I've done the band on some tea stain paper which I do show you in an upcoming uh, I was going to say film <laughs> in one of my upcoming films <laughs> and I've put put a word there so this corner pocket um i have cut a couple of uh tags out for that so this was a journal card i think i printed that at normal and then this was a uh, quite a big journal card so i cut it in half and that fits there like so and then like i say i will do like a little cluster on there um just got cut two tags out of the kit they will go there and i have made a jumbo tag all i've done is printed one of the kit pages out on 200 gsm i think that's 75 pound kind of weight um in in the usa i don't know where else uses that um yeah <laughs> that measurement like for paperweight so i've just cut this out as yet i don't know what i'm doing with it i don't know how i'm going to decorate it but i know that that's there i don't personally think this is thick enough um so i will probably well i will back it on to um another 200 gsm because i want that to be quite a substantial tag with it being a big one these are on 200 but i think these are fine because they're small so that's that so i will probably do some collage on here um i might see if i can get might get this owl put him 
him on um so we shall see and then i'm gonna have a nice sprouting um you know topper so it comes out over the edge so i've cut again it's a it's one of the pages from this folio kit i've cut it down and it's on 200 gsm again i will back this and i will probably the big ones i will sew the small ones i will not um so when I stick it on another one, I will probably just do it with glue stick, just put a smidge in, you know, not round the edges, but just enough to, to keep it into place and then I can sew around that. Probably won't do anything to this. I might, oh, I might put a label there. That would be really cool. Um, so yeah, and obviously it will have some kind of tab on. Because it's going here, I might have to do like a lace tab because the card just fits in uh, right. So if I had a, you know, a card one, I wouldn't, this wouldn't bend over. So I think I will probably just sew some, some lace to it. So that's that. It's building up quite, quite nice. Um, not 100% sure what, what I'm gonna do with this because obviously you can't write on that. The other one, uh, the paper is lighter so you would be able to write on that. So I didn't know if to put like a small belly band or a belly band there and just put a tag in there, which I might do that. So I might make another one of those but slimmer and put that there. Um, the other thing I thought of was, which I should have done it before if I was going to do that, I could have sewn some acetate and add it as, as a little pocket, but you wouldn't want a lot in and the magnet comes to about there. So I don't want to be covering that because it's already going, you know, through, through those layers and they're only the tiniest of batteries. I think they're like three millimetres um, high. They're so tiny, it's, you know, like a piece of paper kind of thing. So obviously they've not got a lot of strength. So yeah, if I, so that reminds me, I wouldn't really be able to put a belly band there. Could probably have like um, a tuck there, but do it in the same kind of thing, but just glue. Uh, the bottom and the sides and then you could just have something going going in like that um so i've already obviously got the card for there and i thought the little notebook can go there i did try a tag at first but um i want it so you don't you know i want it needs to be I don't want it going over this. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Oof. Don't know if to put something there or not. I don't think it it needs it. So I won't. Um, and then here I've made a journal card. Again, it wants back in and I will say that one. That's probably the smallest um, I would sew. Any smaller than that, I wouldn't bother. So that's going to go in there and that will have oh no i've lost it uh that will it's gonna have a tab on it so that's gonna be there so that's all that done and on the back pocket i am going to put the vellum envelopes in there the vellum notebook because it'll only have about five sheets of paper in it, so you know it's only going to be a little notebook. So that will go there, and then I've got this square, and again it will be back and sewed round. That will go there. I do feel like I probably need a snippet on there. So that's two snippets and a little snippet strip isn't it so far that I need let me let 
let me just make a note of that because obviously they're the things that I want to be making next. So two snippets and one uh, tuck snippet. Okay, because I shall make those, those next and I will get all the cards backed and then I won't sew until I'm ready to, to sew everything and then I shall just do it all in one go. So again, I think the journal's going to go in there. I have kind of started putting something together. So I've printed this vellum off. I'm not sure if I will print some card off and have this as the second page or if this is going to be the front of it. So that should go there. I'm thinking of having some, because this pocket isn't going to be a pocket. So I'm thinking I might have some lace down there. Sew that into there. All I've done so far is just put a few of the, the kit pages in. And these are from the actual journal um, full kit. So that's that. Might just put a few coffee uh, tea stain pages in. See, I was going to use craft card in. Yeah, probably the craft card would go nice next to that. So anyway, it's going to have about, I don't know. I'm not even going to say until everything's in because I want to see um, how bulky it is. Because, um, you know, there's not a lot of um, room in it. So that will be the last thing that I do. I've just kind of kept that in there just to give me a little bit of bulk so I can see, you know, where I'm where I'm going with it. So I'm thinking that will be kind of blank. Um, again, I might put a label on there or something, a bit of... But if it's got lace there, I probably won't put any lace down there because that will be a lace explosion for me. <clears throat> so this piece... I'm thinking that I'm going to put a hinge on it and I'm going to hinge it here so that it goes out. So here I would either put um I might put a square of tea stained paper there so that then becomes a journal spot. I will stamp it as well. I'll find a little bird out. And I will probably do the same on that piece in there. I'll probably just stamp something on there. So, just to give it just a little bit of, of interest. So, that's that. So, yes, I was thinking of having that flipping out like so. And then the pocket that I've made to go there i've not made a, a journal card for there i do need to print some more um kit out on onto the card and i think so i couldn't have it like that i do prefer it that side too to that side So yeah, because that's not going to get any thicker because only a leaf's going in there and there's only going to be a thin tag in there. So I think that will lay lay fine. So that'll be that and I will keep that side open so I do need a journal card for there as well. So that's about, that's about it. I'm really loving it. Love the colours. Um... Yeah, really, really pretty. Um, well, vibrant and fruity, and yeah, it's um, very, very harvesty. So, I think that's it for now uh, because I, I didn't know if I was going to make some of the tags with you and stuff, but I think I need to get everything backed and just finish the little bits off that I've said, get these in. And then I might come back next week and do the tags or something. Because I'm not going to get a lot of crafting done for the rest of the week. Because um, 
I've got to do an extra day at work and I will be exhausted. So yeah, I'm not going to get that much further. And obviously I've got to catch up with this one. I have made uh, the elements for this one. I've not done any of the cutting out for the tags or anything. And obviously that back piece needs going in as well. So yeah, I'll film again next week and show you how far I've got and then once them two are up I'm going to get them straight up into the shop um, if anyone's interested before uh, give me a message otherwise they'll go back uh, go back they will go up in the shop and then as soon as I've got those in I'm going to start on the shabby dabby doodah one and that is going to be a very similar layout to this one and then that that'll be the orangey ones done um and then i've got the tracy fox autumn one but that's more browns and stuff so i will use some of the woodland uh things that i've already made for for that one because obviously the colors will go better with that i'm hoping to try and get an edith holden um envelope journal out as well but um yeah we'll see we'll see how we go for for time um but yeah i've probably got enough autumn winter pages of edith olden to do two um envelope journals so yeah we'll see <laughs> so thanks for joining me i'm really happy that um I've had some lovely comments about the Woodland Wonders and it looks as if a lot of you are getting prepared to do some things and, and stuff and yeah it's just so exciting knowing that you know people are drying tea bags and um, yeah it's brilliant, love it. So thank you very much, I know some of the videos are really long and I do apologise and I know some of you, Carol, will say I don't mind them that long but I'm sure some of you are sick of me. Um, but to be able to to get what I wanted to make and, you know, at the end of the day I wanted to create a playlist for us all when we're stuck for embellishments that we can look at the playlist and get some inspiration and you know i could have done a load more embellishments which i'll probably do another set well i will another series on a different theme another time but um yeah i didn't just want to come on and do two or three i i want to create a playlist so you know now i confidently made this um because I've already made it and if in a few months I'd forgot about it I could just go to my playlist and and find it out so yeah uh, because there was so many pieces that I wanted to do obviously I had to then do it that we did two each um episode uh which then made it longer further along in the series uh because at the beginning of the series, I think I was making... I'd made six before I started and then we did six together. I think towards the end, I, I'd cut it down to about three or four. Um, so it does then make the videos about 40 minutes long instead of an hour long. So uh, just bear with me. If, you know, you can fast forward the bits if if you've had enough of me. Um but yeah, I just wanted to do it, like I say, say there was something to to reference back to to make us all remember <laughs> when we forgot. But uh, yeah, I definitely will do the series again next year and I will do it, uh, you know, botanicals or greens and, and stuff like that. Um, and I will do the favourites from... I mean, we could have a poll... Because uh, now I've got the community um, oh, like message board on YouTube. So I think if you go, oh, I don't know, into not, I don't know if it's subscriptions or whatever. But um, yeah, you should be able to see any posts that I've made. So I could have a poll and we could say, 
um, you know, which which ones we enjoyed most, and I could recreate them in a botanical, uh, you know, more green uh, spring botanicals, let's say, instead of winter botanicals. Uh, and then I've been making notes of other things that I've thought of since. So, um, yeah, exciting. I'm just waffling, aren't I? I'm going. Thanks for joining me. I hope everyone's well. And I shall see you soon because I think I've got a video every single day. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.